you yeah, know, I, if you I want to switch, Cal, you're picky. Yeah, but um, we'll have to see. I think see Caleb. He's gonna he's gonna have to show his uniqueness in a style. Like he cannot play like like Sinji. You know, he's got to play like see Caleb because John Numbers is ready for Sinji, but maybe he's not ready for his style of Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. And see Caleb already coming out swinging with moves off stage. Oh, God, these upsets. And John Numbers came up percent right back. Now, uh, slightly for numbers, but yeah, really aggressive Pac-Man so far. Just totally, I mean, Pac-Man has the aerials in her frame data to play a little bit aggressive. It's not all a campy game. All right, I actually really like that uh, Apple Hydrant setup. Ooh. Ooh, missed tech by John Number is going to be giving C. Caleb that first stock, actually. Yeah, that was a little bit awkward with how the um, Sun Salutation hit the Hydrant. I, I imagine it kind of tripped up John Number's tech timing a bit because mm -hmm. it like delayed when the Hydrant was falling. Yep. Great song choice by whoever uh, picked this. It's a P4, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a Persona 4, like a uh, main battle theme. Or golden main battle theme. Oh, uh, just an up smash going to be catching. Uh, I actually didn't see what C. Caleb, uh, what option he chose there. I, th I think he might have jumped and they caught the jump, but uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Because that up smash only hits in the air, I believe. It's not going to like scoop you up. And wow, deep breathing coming into effect. 80% essentially on C. Caleb, but nothing a Galaga and a Hydra can't make up. 50 now retaliated. Yeah, right back. Uh, I think it's interesting that uh, both these characters kind of have abilities that combo into each other, uh, not just in the, you know, can hit confirm sense, but in uh, abilities that complement one each other. Yeah. And 105% now is the lead for C. Caleb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, was, God. That was a... Uh, I, I want to believe that was intentional. I know. <laughs> the fact that C. Caleb just kind of stood, stood there, there and yeah. took it. Like I would have, I would have panic jumped and taken so much damage. Oh my Ooh. God! Hadrian, uh taking away the soccer ball. Tricky spot right there because if number stayed stayed still and recovered lower, the Hydrant was gonna hit. So he had to recover really high, but just a melon waiting for him. And this is now a stock lead for C. Caleb once again. I think uh, C. Caleb so far has been doing a pretty good job of. Um, Playing around uh, like we fit deep breathing, um, and that's just something Pac-Man can do when Pac-Man sets up his fortress. He, oh, okay, Ooh. up air though. Can we catch in that double jump? Yeah, you can. Um, if you Pac-Man, you know, obviously they love to hydra when in the air and landing, but if you do read it, you can come in from the side, and Pac-Man's mm -hmm. completely vulnerable. Numbers doing that right there, really good spacing. Ooh. And let's see if he can use this deep breathing for some effect. He's got some damage to make up. Oh my wow. god, C. Caleb was ready for the tech, actually. Um, we did see John Numbers actually head her in the wrong direction after the tech. I think they just weren't ready. But yeah, no, I think even if he yeah, headed in I, the I correct think direction. He was dead regardless, honestly. Did he double tech? Ooh, that, the that header did weird. go off. I do wonder if it would have. Because uh, we fit did hit the ball. Mm -hmm. um, but. Pac-Man might have just been out of range regardless. Oh, no. I think that was a tech, uh, tech and then a jump. separate wall jump. Yeah. Um, yeah, tech? No, that's a wall jump. That's a tech wall jump. I thought I saw, like, two yellow sparks there go off. No, I don't think you could uh, humanly tech and instantly <laughs> wall jump as two separate inputs. But I think just Wii Fit's got a weird-looking wall jump. No, yeah. Oh. See, there's two different things. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That's interesting. Good, good catch. Good catch. <laughs> You got me. That is a uh, yeah. That's weird. That interesting. <laughs> anyway, running it right back to FD. I think that was a tech wall jump and then a wall jump. Like yeah. yeah. So it was a double wall jump. But yeah. It was also a good song choice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, C. Caleb was uh, content to hide behind the hydrant and uh, charge up Galaga, but the header is gonna be uh, interrupting that. Yeah, if you can get header, it can be really useful. Uh, but you gotta just be smart with how you ooh, just keen right away. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, uh, C. Caleb has been kind of losing uh, quite a few of these projectile trades in uh, 
in the first couple of interactions in this game, but I like the patience. Now, you are allowing uh, John Numbers to um, set up deep breathing uh, when uh, see Caleb's just kind of just kind of chilling there. Um, but if John Numbers can't capitalize on it, uh, you know, if you don't go in, then those deep breathings just get harder to actually come out. Nice Ready tech. For, ready for the tech. And I think in the, like, dittos of two really defensive characters, the first stock can be so vital, you know, because it, it can just lead to you running away with a lead. Um, so I think whoever takes this is going to just be in a really solid spot. Yeah, and you you talked about it before in um, in the beginning of the set, but uh, wanting to see, see Caleb's uniqueness as a Pac-Man. And I, something I've been seeing so much is uh, C. Caleb's timing is just so unorthodox in uh, how much he's just kind of standing there. Yeah, I agree. He stands still a lot, does a lot of charging, and then sometimes he'll just jump double fair, you know? Yeah. Some, something like that. And, and that's really important is being able to mix up aggression and camping because... It, it, um, if you just camp, I think a good player is going to be able to totally like read your camping patterns after a certain amount of time, You know, even if it takes a while. But being able to mix it up it does not give the opponent time to really pick, pick up on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And that's not even to mention the, uh, the mental game that happens, you know, just seeing your opponent stand still. Um, but I think we've seen John Numbers do a good job of keeping his composure thus far. Yeah, I, I don't think um, he's, especially as someone who probably stands still a good amount in the week <laughs> yeah. game play, I don't think he's going to be too phased by, by some, some staring contests. But right now the onus is on John Numbers to take C. Caleb's stock to keep himself in the game. I like the projectile parry. Yeah, get these headers out of here. You see, see Caleb. He just throws fruits out. He honestly, he probably doesn't even care which one it is because oh, how what percent was he at? Very low. I think 86 after the hit. Yeah. Wow. This is so rough now. This has got to be really frustrating for numbers. He was at 50 pre-hit. That's what I thought, but I didn't want to believe yeah. my eyes. <laughs> Um, but what I was saying before that uh, ungodly F smash is that C. Caleb will throw out fruits kind of regardless of what it is because if there's a fruit there, it'll stop the ball, it'll stop, like, it'll just shut down whatever projectile numbers is doing. So it's just so good to have that in the air no matter the fruit. Yeah, no. I also just realized uh, C. Caleb's still on his first stock right now. Yeah, it is looking very rough. Oh. Ooh, that could have been a, a fat F tilt. Even a non deep breathing version would have done it. Yeah. Pretty much all Jump. OE Fitz moves will do it at this point, but it's a matter of landing them. Good jump from C. Caleb. Reading yeah. the, the, um, the Sun Citation. Once again, having just that unorthodox timing. <laughs> what are you doing? So uh, tried to be tricky with it, but. Uh, you're still Pac-Man landing on the stage at the end of the day, so Numbers is going to get the first stock. Yeah, no, but I, I think C. Caleb's having a little bit of fun with it. Yeah, and that's honestly pretty pretty good to have some fun with it because that could get into Numbers' head, you know, if like you're like, okay, wow, my opponent is now up a stock and now like he doesn't even care. Like That's got to be a frustrating fight. Yeah, up a full stock, uh, just fresh second stock, and it... It has taken so long for John Numbers to take uh, C. Caleb's first stock. There are two minutes left on the timer. I think it's going to have to be a bit of a miracle for, um, for John Numbers right now. Numbers to enter task mode. Yeah, he's <laughs> you know he's had he's had the time to uh, get the download. I think the only way you're really bringing this back is with some deep. Well, there we go. With some deep breathing shenanigans, you know that's that's one way you can rack up quick damage and take early stocks. Okay. There we go, getting the bell out of the equation. Oh, well that jump fair is so good from Pac-Man. And look at this, you know, especially with one minute and 30 seconds on the clock, look at Pac-Man just standing behind his hydrant. It's like yeah. 
even if you do dismantle that, it takes time. You know, you gotta destroy the Hydra, and by that time, Pac-Man's already on the other side of the stage. So, this is just such a frustrating spot to be. It's nearly unwinnable. Some salutation on deck, but yeah, that's gonna be it for John Numbers. See Caleb with a. A, a pretty convincing victory, honestly. Yeah, surprising, you know, I, especially with how many times Numbers has played a Pac-Man, but CK Lo played truly nothing like Sinji. Mm -hmm. uh, opting for a lot of, like, uh, really interesting usage of the, of the neutral B, um, and like you were saying, mixing up these timings a lot, really just kind of like a sporadic Pac-Man. You don't really know what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. And wow, yeah, 2-0 for Numbers. I'm sure he was n not, not what he wanted. But uh, good stuff from C. Caleb, you know, um, beating uh, beat me <laughs> into beating <laughs> numbers. So clearly playing hot today. Yeah, can, can we see that that kill again? No, no. Oh no. Yeah, he's at fifty. Oh How man. How much did he get hit by? <sighs> did John Numbers? Did he pick an option there? I I mean the fact they went from fifty to eighty five. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't think I think he was just waiting on ledge. I must have hit like the start of the the ledge invincibility falling out. Like that was right when the invincibility ran out. He must have gotten hit. Yeah, because I mean, we I know we've talked about it before, but John Numbers was only at 50, yeah. and I feel like invincibility would have lasted a little bit longer, but I guess Some, not. Something interesting though is uh since the pack, so it did 85, which makes me assume that was the hydrant and the F smash hitting at the yeah. same time. Because I don't doubt the F smash was 35%. If it does, I'm gonna uninstall smash. <laughs> but um, because uh, C Caleb hit the hydrant, it extended the hitbox out for a little bit. So that might have actually been pretty vital to getting that uh, edge guard mm -hmm. or not edge guard like uh gimp. No. <laughs> no, it, it was just kill. a kill. Cheesy 